Hi, I'm Rue with Ninja Green in Los Angeles, and I'm going to show you how to compost. I'm here at a client's house finishing up the cleaning on a job, and one of the things that people don't realize is that all of this trash, the leaves, dried leaves and grass, are a great future soil for growing stuff in. So what you want to do is collect up your, your dry composting, your leaves, your grass, once it's had a chance to dry, don't put it in wet, and you can put it into a compost bin. And I have here a couple of options. This client here actually is switching, so we, they've got a new one and one that they're uh, not using anymore because they wanted one closer to the kitchen. Uh, this is a type of composter that sits on the ground. It's open underneath, which is great because you can get worms coming up from underneath, and worms are great for uh, creating compost and increasing the quality of the compost that you end up getting. Alternatively, you've got a different kind of composter. This kind sits right on the ground. And the advantage here is you can place it right next to the kitchen, you can place it on concrete, and you can move it around if you don't like the location. Once you put one of these down, it's kind of hard to move. This one also tends to create your compost a little faster because it spins. Once you put your compost in, you spin it around and tumble and mix it up and one of these types that's an on-the-ground composter, you actually have to go in with a tool or a pitchfork and mix it and turn it. In order to have a good, balanced compost, you need not only the dry leaves and grass from the garden and other clippings, but you also want to mix it with wet compost. Um, they also call it green compost and brown compost. And you've got stuff from the kitchen like coffee grounds, eggshells, which are great, peels, orange peels, fruit, fruit peels, old crusty bread, and any other cuttings, vegetables, and that sort of thing. You want to avoid putting anything like meats, fats, oils. That t they tend to go rancid. They tend to smell a lot more. When you have these kinds of ingredients in your compost, you're going to end up with a great, rich compost that'll be really good quality soil for your vegetable gardens in the future. I'm Rue with Ninja Green in Los Angeles, and that's how you compost.